Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp and Uncommon Goods for sponsoring this week's episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of You Can Sit With Us. My name is Maggie, and I am joined by my co-host, Matthew. Hello. And Becky. Hello. And we have Rainy here on the ones and twos. Hi. Today, we're going to be doing an advice episode. I kind of scoured our emails and our DMs, and I've kind of gathered some today, so we're really excited to get that going. But how is everyone doing today? How is... Okay, let's start with um, what is your... Least favorite trend that's going on right now in terms of clothing. Or, oh, oh, clothing. Or And mm. you know what? No. I'm going to open it up. Just trend. Period. Just trend. I, I mean, trend. my least favorite trend in clothing is that things just get too baggy. <laughs> too baggy. <laughs> yes. You're not. I mean, maybe I'm just too millennial. You're not. You know? <laughs> you're not one but with sometimes the things, Well, there's like baggy where it still looks good. And then there's like baggy, mm. you know, uh-huh. like Jinko. Like, yeah. Like so big. Yeah. People are starting to lean more into that mm. now, even more. Mm-hmm. It just like swallows you up. Yeah. Um, I don't I like feel, it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel attacked. I was like, I scroll, feel attacked. I feel attacked. They say that it's like the millennial tuck. I don't know what I'm oh. supposed to do with my shirt <laughs> at all. <laughs> Apparently, that like put it. Yeah, I am millennial true, like through and through, and it's fine. Because you tuck your shirt every day. <laughs> I definitely yeah, you tuck, tuck your shirt, shirt in. I don't know what else to do with it. I don't know what what else. Rainy. Do you do front tuck or do you do? I mean, right now you're you're, but it fits your aesthetic because you're yeah. business casual. Yeah, full tuck. Yeah, you've got yeah. the full tuck. Yeah, but do you sometimes do? Is it always full tuck? No, sometimes I have like a longer sweater that like if it goes into my pants, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bunchy mess. So oh. I just do like just the front, just the front. The French yeah. tuck. I've done the bra tuck before. If the it's bra like tuck. A, if mm-hmm. it's like a really long sweater. Me too, me too. I've, is that comfortable? <laughs> it depends on the sweater. If yeah. It's, yeah. If it's long enough and it has to be a little thin because if it's too yeah, thick, yeah. then it's just like mm. it's a lot. It does look good though. I've seen TikToks. I haven't, I haven't, well, I don't wear sweaters. You know what? I never wear long sleeves. This is why you live in LA. Yeah, yeah. 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 She's like, peace out, Colorado. Yeah, See you like, later. Do not have clothes on. <laughs> Um, okay, so yours, That's so funny. yours is baggy. Too baggy. Okay. Too baggy. Too baggy. Too baggy. Too baggy. Too baggy. Yeah. So you don't like low rise bell bottom. How do you feel? Too baggy. Too baggy. Too baggy. Too baggy. Hashtag too baggy. Hashtag too baggy. Take oh. it away. Take it away. <laughs> also feels wasteful. So much fabric. So you know? much fabric. <laughs> um, hello, cozy. Yeah. Hello, cozy. <laughs> What's what? yours then, Vicky? What's your least favorite? Trend well, in life right now. Miley's favorite trend in life comes around every single fall, and it's that everybody cuts their hair short. Oh, I thought you were going to say pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice lattes. No, it's not that I don't think short hair looks good. It's that I feel like I need to cut my hair off. Mm-hmm. Every time I see people with these cute little French bobs mm-hmm. or yeah. the lobs, I'm like, I want to cut my hair off. And I just know. I yeah. know I'm not going to like it. I have to like look back at pictures where my hair was that short and be mm. like, no, you won't like this. But that's my least favorite right I didn't now. even know that was a thing. You cut your hair off Absolutely, for fall and you yeah. grow it out for summer. You know what's becoming a that little bit opposite. of a trend that I've seen know. just because I'm still like still have friends getting married, like still gets fed stuff on my algorithm. People are chopping their hairs off between chopping their hair off between res- or their no. ceremony oh. and their reception. No. The yes. trust you have to have. Ooh. Yes, in your hairdresser. Oh my god. And I saw one and I was like, "Oh, that's really cute." But if <laughs> I have very like Also, after you just get your hair cut, aren't there just like hairs everywhere? Probably. You know? so I think you kind of have to blow dry the person. And then like you're yeah. going to be going out and you're going to have hairs going when you're on the dance floor. It's like, like an like, even like chop. Yeah, it's I very really a lob. Every sword. time I see it, it's a lob. It's yeah, it's a long lob. hair to a lob. Mm-hmm. I could never. That is like no. truly my nightmare. Like it's such a high stakes situation for yeah. no reason. I always leave the for hairdresser no like, reason. I hate it. And what if you don't like it? Yeah. And then you're like, it's just your wedding. You're just at your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> what about just like. At your wedding, not liking your haircut. When if she just did a, a wig, you know, pre- pretend you cut it all off. Yeah. Put oh, a little wig on. Yeah. Maybe that's what you need to do, Becky. Maybe that's what you need to do. Honestly, I need a wig. Um, I thought I escaped postpartum hair loss. I was like, once we hit like four months, I was like, I did it. My hair's not falling out. I have 
done. All your hairs. No, it is all fall- like it is like a horrifying amount comes out in the shower. I'm like so scared to ever brush my hair. I'm like, what if I just like never brushed it again? And it that way it all just stayed like yeah. beautiful. It just comes out. It's just gone. Or you just do the wig. Yeah. I feel like you'll be happier. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the girls in Mommy and Me was like, just think of it as borrowed hair because you borrowed it from your baby while they were oh. <laughs> in utero <laughs> oh because your hair gets so luscious and like, oh, so you have all this extra like yeah. biotin or collagen, whatever's mm-hmm. floating around. So you're like very glowy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Again, more hair. So you're not actually getting sparser. You're just losing what you already had. It's just a hump. That's how she's saying it. Yeah. She's like, you're just lo- you just borrowed it for a little bit. That's nice. your girl mathing your way. Yeah. Out of yeah. And I was like, loss. okay, I guess that makes me. Now feel you have to a give it back to your child. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. I mean, wait, what's oh the shortest God. you've ever had? Um, I had like a bob to my chin, like right before I went to college. <sighs> It was that n- is kind of cute. It was though. not though. I'll show you. The I pictures. feel like out of all our <laughs> like, I feel like you could do it, Bex. No, I have a very like soft featured round face. Mm. Not I feel like you angles. would need to have a lot of curls up there. Yeah, to do it. It would have Crazy. to be like messy. More volume. I would want to do like whenever I do the mom chop, I'm gonna chop it and do like French bob style, mm. like way short. I think you should Cut do like off. the Karen A like. <laughs> All the way up yes. and down, like the, the Midwest way. I want it. I love it. <laughs> Keep that Karen neck a. exposed, you know? Yes. It's hot. That way I could air myself out. Don't forget the sunscreen uh, back there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> love it. I'm in. Now, you, what's the shortest you've cut your hair? Oh, my mom. I was one of three girls. So my mom, like when I was in second grade, <laughs> chopped all our hairs off because she was, like, she was over Too much it. Gum. She's like, I don't want to do any of your hair. You bitches just like need so much. So I chopped it all off. And it was... <laughs> traumatizing <gasps> it was traumatizing my s- youngest sister i think has never had short hair since like her hair is like past <laughs> almost yeah, to her, her hair head is really long. Yeah, her hair is really long. Just, we talk like, about it again we talk about it often yeah my younger sister can barely get like a trim and if yeah. they blunt cut it she freaks out <gasps> oh how short God. was it <sighs> so short it was like a pixie um like right at our earlobe maybe a little higher wow yeah yeah, all like, three of us because mad at you, you want to know who <laughs> like, we're bad girls is what I'm hearing. It, it was my oldest sister, Andrea, wanted it done. And my mom was like, oh, my gosh, this is like so great. This uh, takes mm-hmm. like no time. And then took the, the two youngers like the next week after. And we were like, <gasps> we had no, no say. So we had cheap. no say. It just like, kind of happened. It. Oh, my gosh. I remember when I was little, my mom, because I had like when I was little, I had like ringlet hair. Mm-hmm. And she was oh. like, I w- mm-hmm. didn't want to brush it ever because it like was tangly. Mm-hmm. She was like, if you don't brush it right now, I'm cutting it off. <gasps> and I was like, <gasps> OK, Vicious. I know. Because she was like, I'm not dealing with this. This is your problem. My mom was like obsessed with I'm not my hair. With this. this is your head. <laughs> she would like not. She did not want me to cut it ever. I had hair like Aww. past my butt when I was little. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. And my mom would like do it for like picture day. I do have a very small scar. Kimberly on the side of my head oh. from when she was curling my bangs. Oh, oh. it was an accident. That's what she claims. <laughs> Vicious. Oh, no. Vicious. She's getting you back. I know, but I remember before I cut my hair in college, my grandpa was like, I just liked it better when it was long. <laughs> you still look beautiful. <laughs> but every, yeah, everyone in my family Thanks. loves long hair. I was like, oh. Why did you cut it before college? Were you like, I just knew me? No. Oh. It was just time. It was just time. It was heavy. Yeah, I had permed it. I mean, you gotta try some things out. You know, you gotta (laughs) try it. I think I knew that, but that's so funny. So it went through a lot of changes. Yeah, (laughs) I think it needed a refresh. Yeah, it's got to do great vamp. You need you. I mean, bring back the '80s hair. Bring back that perm, (sighs) Becky. Bring it back. You get a perm. I have got a perm. (laughs) You get perms. (laughs) I don't know why you're being sassy about the perm. You're a permer. Like usually, like at least once a year. Yeah, I like when you get a perm. Yeah. It's fun. This is not even a perm. This is no. my real hair. Yeah, you got a little when wig to it. When I get a perm, it, it gets really... <laughs> my real hair. This is my real hair. <laughs> real hair. <laughs> I saw a comment on um, one of the podcasts from like one or two times ago, and it was like, Matt is looking... <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know how they phrased it, but it was really tickled me about Fresh. the the sexualization of Matt on the podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, Maggie, what's your least favorite trend? I was thinking about it. Um it's trending right now. Yeah, what's trending? I feel what like it's trending right now that I'm like hmm. the moon phases is a big trend. 
Actually, oh. that's old, I think. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> it's when you She's like pair your knowledge together. I was like raining over here in her, with her cauldron. With my, <laughs> oh, oh, my Aquarius. Of the, yeah, it's like, uh, well, it's like if you have matching moon phases. Honestly, we should probably do it for you can sit with us. Yeah, How we can do oh, it. Moon I phase. always see people like. You have to go to CapCut, I'm that. sure, or some sort yeah. of something. Yeah, which I to the moon and back. Cut. I really don't know how to do it. Yeah. It's too complicated for me somehow. I can't even log on practically. But um, you know what else is trending? The Hunger Games. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's well, back. Ballad of Songbirds Snakes uh, is coming out this weekend. Oh, it's this weekend. You know what's yeah. also coming out wow. this weekend? Trolls. Oh. <laughs> 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 trolls. The newest Trolls. What's wow. it about? I don't Oh, it's about a boy band. That's like how oh. NSYNC gets back together. Oh. Uh, yeah. Which I think, do we think PR? I think PR. I think oh, it's yeah. Because of what happened with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. I think that's the whole reason that they're. Kind of a flimsy uh, PR movie. Yeah. It's like, okay, here's like a really horrific uh-huh. thing. Yeah. I mean, but like, Trolls, trolls has been trolls, in the works for a long time, though. Well, I guess Britney's. But. No, bringing the boy band back, bringing oh. NSYNC back together. Yeah. Wait, so uh, what's. Wait, it's bringing NSYNC, like everybody from NSYNC is coming back for Trolls? I guess. Wow. To be honest, I didn't really pay attention during the trailer. So I was your like, favorite oh my God, movie. it's coming. <laughs> You're too excited. But there is a lot of billboards across LA and I am getting <laughs> hyped. <laughs> when do you have your tickets for? The, uh, I have it for Thursday. Oh, already have Thursday that. evening Stop. at 530. Love. I will be there and I will be surrounded by <laughs> children. Um, do you dress up for these? I hope you dress up. Um, I hope you wear your troll hair. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll wear my troll hair. <laughs> Do you but have I, troll hair? Do you have no. a wig? No. Oh. <laughs> were, you, were you a troll for Halloween? I was a troll for Halloween. Then you have to have troll hairs? I do have troll. Well, they, it's like troll them. tool. <gasps> troll tool. <laughs> oh, it's like a, oh, it's like a headband. It's a headband. But <laughs> That's yeah. cute. Yeah. I'm mean, excited. They're competing. Trolls and the Hunger Games. Yeah, I know. I asked That's... Kelsey Dara if she wanted to come with me. And she was like, oh, oh I'm going with mm-hmm. Becky to the Hunger Games. And I was like, I know, Boo. which I can't go that night anymore. <gasps> I have to go Saturday. <gasps> I know. I have to wait. Oh, oh. waiting yeah. so long. Never know. I mean, it's I don't know. Hours long. I don't know why you're not talking about the Gilded Age. Okay. I that's on every I didn't even know best. that it came back. That's your problem. <laughs> you needed to know. I'm informing you. <laughs> Thank that's you. That's also on all the billboards around LA right yeah, now. Yeah, Gilded Age. The Gilded Age mm-hmm. season two. I forced Eugene to watch it. Gummer, he gets so mad. Gummer, Mamie Gummer. Right? <laughs> Isn't that her name? Isn't it Mamie? I is forgot. it Mamie? I think it is Mamie. Is this your favorite show, Matthew? Yeah. Season one. I love, I love the Gilded Age. Yeah, really? It's so good. Mm-hmm. Okay, tell yeah. me. Yeah. Tell me what's about. I have, <laughs> I've heard of it, obviously, but I'd... you've heard of it. Well, think Downton Abbey. Okay. Uh-huh. But it's America. Oh. Mm-hmm. And it's like when New York society is just starting to transform because of all the new money. Mm-hmm. Oh. A lot of okay. oil, like, a lot of trains. Trains, there's a lot of trains. Trains is a big one. Oh, so, so you've like seen the, season one. So okay. the old people one. money are like established, but then all these new people are coming in and they're becoming much, much more rich than <gasps> the old people. So what do you what do you rate huh. Bex? Oh, Gilded Age? Yeah. I loved Gilded Age. Okay. I watched it with my mom and Matt. So mm. I think it's like eight out of ten. Okay. Well, I started watching so the Buccaneers on Apple so much TV. More drama. I was telling Matt is similar, but not as good. I would give it a four out of ten. Mm. And everything's just about all the costumes and the set mm-hmm. design Ooh. and the hair. Everything's wow. just so good. You have to watch. Is this 1920s? No, before. It's 1900. Like 18, 18 something. something. Oh. During yeah. the Gilded Age. The Gilded Age. Yeah. Oh, because that's what I was just thinking the Great Gatsby is about that too. Old money versus new money. Yeah. But that's oh, a yeah, very interesting yeah. premise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And everybody's but, hot, I'm assuming. Actually, like, no. That's with like, like I would say no. I would say a couple of people are hot, but most of the people are like, all right. Also, you wear so much clothing. Yeah. Layers very, and layers and layers. Yeah. Yeah. So you can look easy. however you want. You can look under there. You, you know, there's no <laughs> covered up. You, yeah. But they film it in um, Jersey. They built a little town. Whoa. Mm. And you can see all the like facades of the buildings that they use. Yes. Is it's cool. And it's all about like social drama. Yeah. Right? I mean, horrible things are happening where there's like unsafe work conditions for workers and like. Yeah. People are dying in steel plants, so they're like unionizing. So there's that type of stuff yeah. happening too. Female writers. Female writers. But oh. the main thing is all about like, you know, all these just rich people just like bickering back and forth in mm. New York. Yeah. And like who's getting married. Who's getting yeah, 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 you have to, you know, the person has to be rich enough, has to be from yeah. a good family for <gasps> you to marry them. Can't be that it's shady fucking accountant. I yeah. knew he was trouble from day one. Yeah, he was. Day one. Was. So did Mrs. <laughs> Van Buren, you know. <laughs> she called it out. Yeah, it's a lot of like old people. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. With the holiday season coming up, there are a lot of stressors. 
family coming into town, what gifts to buy, the weather getting colder, it's getting darker earlier, all of that can affect your mood. This time of year can be a lot and it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it. But adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings. Therapy can be a bright spot amid all of the stress and change, something to look forward to, to make you feel grounded and to give you the tools to manage everything going on. Here at You Can Sit With Us, we absolutely love therapy. It's great to have someone to bounce ideas off of, someone who is unbiased that you can sort of share all your feelings with and get really honest feedback from. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash sit with us today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash sit with us. It's officially time to kickstart your holiday shopping, but there is no cause for panic because Uncommon Goods has your back and is here to make your holiday shopping stress-free by scouring the globe for the most remarkable and truly unique gifts for everyone on your list. Whether you're shopping for your mom, your dad, teenagers, in-laws, or your best friends, Uncommon Goods knows exactly what they want. I recently got birth month wildflower bouquets, which were an amazing gift for both my mom and my sisters because they're all so different. I feel like it's personal without being too cheesy, and they loved it. When you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. These fine products are often made in small batches, so shop now before they sell out this holiday season. Uncommon Goods looks for products that are high quality, unique, and often handmade or made in the U.S. They have the most meaningful, out-of-the-ordinary gifts anywhere. To get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash sit with us. That's uncommongoods.com slash sit with us for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods, we're all out of the ordinary. Oh, that may- and did Eugene like it? No, he hates it. <laughs> I forced him to watch it. I'm like, it's so good. You have to watch you it. You have to be caught up. And then he sits there on his phone. <laughs> and you're like, pay attention. You're like, what? I'm like, this is so good. You're missing it all. <laughs> um, this is good drama. Now that the strike is over, I will have to say my absolute favorite show that mm-hmm. came out of this whole year, 10 out of 10, was the best show I've watched. Our sweet angel, Ilya Israeli's <gasps> Paulino was on it. Yes. One Piece. Yes. One Piece was the was best good. show I've watched all year. I it love good. it. Oh, it's good. so good. They're getting a second season. Ooh. So I go watch that. It was it's good. amazing. Mm-hmm. It was so good. Whoa. And it's funny to see on her Instagram now that she's posting all the background uh-huh. stuff. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. It was just so cute and just made you go like, aw. It was just like sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Pirates. I tried to watch the cartoon, the the manga. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's a little different. It's, it's a little different. Mm. And I'm not a big cartoon person. I'm not really cartoon. I'm not huge on cartoons. Mm. On the Toonies. Me neither. Yeah. But it's really, really good. Okay. I got it. Yeah. Really good. I thought you were going to say Samurai Turned Pretty. I mean. <laughs> Is that good? so good. <laughs> I feel like Rainy, we should have like just we gotta one do whole, whole podcast, episode. whatever. You two are sick. Rainy and I will yeah. just do <laughs> the show. Oh, right turn pretty. Right turn pretty because this season was drama. It was storytelling. It was <laughs> dark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were dropping F bombs. Yeah. Whoa. That did not happen in the season Whoa. before. Mm-hmm. And I just think if your team Jeremiah, you're insane. Damn. I just think not. Same. I'm like, what is wrong? He is like. Not he is so toxic and bad. Yeah, People are like Conrad's so toxic. I'm like, you are out of your mind. Jeremiah is always giving her ultimatums. Yeah, he's like yes. always like <laughs> yelling at her. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, yes. come on. I know. I'm. I feel. I, don't I get feel it. seen because mm. usually mm. I'm like Team Conrad, and they're like rut row for you. And also, she has a crush on Conrad. A hundred percent. She doesn't have a crush on Jeremiah. Not she's doing all. it out of like she's like it's it's good for me. It's like no, no, yeah. no. No, no, yeah. no. But yeah. Team Conrad all the way. I mean, Team Belly. Team Belly. Be your own team person. Belly. Although yes. Belly made some choices that I thought were. She definitely is. I don't know yeah. any of these characters <laughs> Well, you need to watch it, Matt. You should. I think like you actually would like it. I think you actually would like it. You like drama. I mean, there's no like vampires. 
Yeah. yeah. No, it's on Prime. Oh, it's on Prime. Yeah. Mm. The summer I turned pretty. Wait, are what you a vampire? Like, if there's vampires, you're interested? Um, <laughs> not really. In your teen shows. Um, you teen, teen shows. Teen I shows, every time I look over Max watching like a period. Originals. Or legacies. Yeah, that's how I feel. It depends. <laughs> it can't just be vampires normally. You know, mm. like it has to be, they're like one of the, the werewolves. Different people. Oh. Or I did like, like interview with a vampire. Oh, mm. I don't know. But that was actually. also like gay vampires. I feel like you're hiding your true inner teenage girl because I, mean, I know I'm you watch Legacies. Sick. I know you watch <laughs> Charmed, the well, reboot. Yeah, but yeah. those are not just only vampire things. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not just vampires, just other. Yeah, but they're witches. Yeah. But why are you listening to interview with a vampire like you're a grown adult? <laughs> you watch children's shows just like the rest of us. <laughs> children's <laughs> shows. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, I mean, everyone your... loves a good CW show every <laughs> once in a while. Who what's doesn't? your children's show, Maggie, that when you're watching it, you're like, this is for teenagers, and I love it. She's like, Blue's Clues. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bluey. Bluey, honestly. Bluey. I've watched Bluey. Everyone told me, Blue, like, very early on, I was like, Bowie looks like Bluey's dad. So I was like, oh, I need to watch this show. Like, <laughs> like, wait, wait, what do you mean Bluey looks like Bluey's dad? Bowie looks like Bluey's dad. Oh. And I was like, I got to watch this show. <laughs> Bluey looks like Bluey's dad. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a lot of Bluey's dad looks like Bowie. <laughs> Bluey. Wow, where's my brain this morning? Um, no, Trolls. Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Paddington 2. Padding, not Paddington. <gasps> have you seen Paddington. it yet? She's just like hard side-eyed Rainy. She's like, Paddington. have you seen it yet? <laughs> no. I know Zach's trying to get me to watch it and I'm like really unenthused. Unenthused? I just don't like that. It's speaking of animation. It's a, it kind of freaks me out. Have you seen it? It has a perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes and the, <laughs> the, the third one is going to take place in Peru. So <laughs> that actually is. <laughs> I don't want to crush She's Maggie. You know what she wants to so. Rainy wants to wait until the third one comes out so she can watch them all. In yeah, exactly. Succession. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. She wants bear. a marathon. He comes from the Amazon. <laughs> that is pretty cute. I mean, yeah, the first scene, he's his mom dies. Mm. That's where I stopped. Wow. That's where you stopped. I was like, <laughs> oh no. Too dark. You Too gotta dark. keep going. It's, Bambi, so, it's such a delight. It's just like. <laughs> it's just like candy. Yeah, I mean, that was your yeah Halloween costume, mm -hmm. which is cute. Mm -hmm. um, okay, should we do advice? Some yes. advice? Yes. What'd you get, Maggers? I want advice from you guys first. Because <gasps> you guys have hosted dinner parties. I am hosting Thanksgiving for the first time Ooh. for like my family, Zach's family, it's kind of like a blended family situation. Love so that. we are so stressed out. Um, <laughs> we don't have our outdoor dining table yet. Uh -oh. And yeah, what sort of advice do you have for someone who's never hosted just like a larger dinner party more than like eight? I think we're going to have like 14 people. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of body bodies to feed. I mean, you really have to do multi-day preparation uh, yes so you can't just like try to do everything the day of mm -hmm. yeah like it's too much mm -hmm. and then you always want to over buy mm -hmm. food you don't want to under buy because you don't want all your food and your drinks to run out mm -hmm. so you always get more than you need you can have leftovers you okay know? you can send people home with stuff okay but then i would say try to prep as much as you can before anyone even walks in the door okay so, so like have everything sit. cut, have everything cooked that can be cooked. That you just mm -hmm. like warm up like the most you can do that. Except for Thanksgiving, that's really easy. Oh, so easy. Because yeah. mm -hmm. you like roast so many things and all that. It can kind of all be like done. So then you just have to like warm it up when it's time to, mm -hmm. okay, you know, to serve. Because then yeah. you want to make sure everything's like cooked all the way. Things don't get overcooked. And when everyone's there and like drinking and like around you, it gets like more stressful. Mm. Yeah. And I would have the table set up before anyone gets there. Everything's already out. Yeah, your table scape. Mm -hmm. I know. Scape. What should I do, do for my table scape? For well, it depends. Are you going to have um, like, are you going to do family style? Or are you going to do buffet style? So are you going to have the food on the table? Or are you going to have the food in your kitchen or living room and people probably. get it and bring it back to the table? Yeah, I probably bring it back to the table. Just then you could do a little bit more on the table. You want to make sure things aren't above eye line mm -hmm. so people yeah. can see each other. Mm. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't even think of that element. Yeah. I like to use, yeah. I, I usually just like cut things from my yard. That's yeah. what I was going to say. I was like, sh I have a lot of olive trees. So I was like, like should olives. I cut some olive branches? And then and for Thanksgiving, it's, yeah. you could That's put lots cute. of like fall, like pomegranates mm -hmm. and like oranges mm -hmm. and like. You know. Oh, you could do some dried oranges. You could dehydrate them in the um, oven beforehand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you slice them really thin and then you just bake them at like 200 for like a couple hours, oh. 
You can literally Cute. just throw them on so the table cute. and it looks adorable mm. and it takes like no time adorable. at all. Adorable. Yeah. Adorable. And then you want to have some like lighting element. On the mm-hmm. table. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So like votive, some kind yeah. of candles. You light. Something, you know. Free spray for mosquitoes. And if you really, if you really want to go and beyond, you can make um, like table cards for People's that's names. what I wanted yeah. to do. Yeah, because yeah. so mm-hmm. people think that's really cute. Well, yeah. how do you feel about that? Because so I think they're adorable, but I don't really like when they tell me where to sit. Because <laughs> um, sometimes I'm like, huh. I want to <laughs> sit next to this person, not. Yeah. See, I think when you're doing it with two families, or you do it with people who like don't know each oh, other, it's a yeah. good way to like move yeah. people around Force them to intermingle. Yeah. Because yeah. in, yeah. otherwise, they'll just be like, what you know. Mm-hmm. I right. like putting couples across from each other. So instead oh. of having, unless they have a kid, then obviously we put them next to, yeah. on the corner so yeah. that the kid so could be help. between the two yeah. parents. Yeah. But I like having like, mm. like if it was Zach and Maggie, I'd have Maggie on one side, Zach on the other. Oh. And then the next couple would be like that so that you can kind of cro- talk next to the person. Yeah. You don't feel like you're like stuck talking to your significant other that way people so mingle. them all the time. You don't just I know. Yeah. I was like, you don't have to sit me in. That way people yeah. like mingle. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, um, pre treat yeah. your yard. I would do that. Like mm. with for mosquitoes, especially right oh, now, because people are gonna be going in and out. Yeah. The mosquitoes are gonna go into your house if it's yeah. not totally I've already closed. caught so. some, caught some mosquitoes this week because we left our like screen doors open and it was Ooh. just like feasting on me. Yeah. 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 They're wild right now. They're supposed to be gone. It's like mm-hmm. yeah, getting it's colder. Bad. There's less yeah. of them for sure. I'm getting bitten less because they do like me. Yeah. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. make sure you guys are always on top of your music, mm-hmm. but have a good like playlist that's going. going. Yeah. And I like to time it out so it doesn't get too crazy when you're eating and, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of divide everything up. Have okay. your bathroom stocked. Mm-hmm. Light a little candle. People yeah. love that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Toilet paper in a place where someone can see it. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Very cozy. Wait, yeah. is it, do you have a heat Very lamp cozy. outside? Like, are you worried about it being oh, cold? Oh, yeah. What we time are you guys doing it, though? Because in LA, it gets colder. Mm-hmm. We're doing it probably closer to dinner time, so like five. Mm-hmm. Maybe some blankets preset oh, yeah. and let people know that it's going to be cold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We did find out because we host Thanksgiving every year and Passover. So we always have like 15 to 20 people over. Uh-huh. It is the same price to rent a heat lamp. As it is to, to buy just one. buy a heat lamp. So mm. we actually have a heat lamp in our backyard that you would have at like a restaurant. So nice. And we bought a little cover for it and it just lives in That's the backyard. And then when it's time for Thanksgiving and you Passover. You pull it out. Heat it up. Although now with kids, it's kind of easy. Thanksgiving's at like one. Yeah. <laughs> More of a Thanksgiving lunch than a Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're hosting this year? We are, yeah. Mm. We're catering though. All of yeah. our, our college friends, everybody has kids. So mm. we're like, nobody Aww. cook. We're catering from Bloodsos. Yeah, his Bloodsos yeah. is so good. What's Bloodsos? Bloodsos is Kevin Bloodso. Um, he was one of the judges on Without a Recipe one year. And oh. he was also on Great Barbecue, like Great American Channel. Barbecue Showdown, Showdown. I think it was called. Yeah. Did you get a fried turkey? Yeah. Or a- we did. We went for one of the fried. We got a fried turkey. Mm, um, they're doing just so like a big good. barbecue thing. Yeah. Everything there is so good. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. It's like some of the best barbecue in LA. Yeah, Ooh. definitely. We so. ordered from Bloodsos too. <laughs> Yes, we're yeah. team Bloodsos. <laughs> and then I signed other people. I'm like, okay, you're going to oh, bring more. Ve- we were catering. Yeah. yeah it's so way like, to do it. Be pretty easy. But yeah. we're making more veg because we only got a pie, a turkey, and then a couple sides. I think one of them's like maybe mac and cheese or something like that. So mm-hmm. there's, we're going to need to supplement with more stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd have all your counters cleared off too. Mm-hmm. I always take everything off the counters because mm-hmm. people are going to like drop oh, stuff, yeah. especially for like potluck style stuff yeah making sure that there's space for everyone's food and mm-hmm. having a lot of serveware because mm-hmm. sometimes yeah. people don't bring serveware yeah and then i like to do batch cocktails Ooh, i was gonna Ooh. do mold wine yeah mold something that's like a big thing that everyone yeah. can just kind of pull from so you're not having yeah. like people are trying to ask you to make them a drink oh okay yeah, yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. i was thinking of making just like two three four bottles worth of mold wine and just like slow cooking it and just having it ready Mm-hmm. Is so that good. you can make mold wine via just you eating? can put it on the stovetop if you want? Oh, it's just wine, really, yeah. really, <laughs> really, <laughs> really <laughs> not <laughs> very hot. And then you just like put the, so it doesn't kill off the alcohol. Well, yeah, and it just like it, like you have to put the mulling. You can get mulling spices from oh like, yeah, anywhere, yeah. and then yeah. 
you just do it really slow because then it just is like boiling so and good. it's not really and then good it's cozy. to drink that way. It's cozy. Ooh, It'll just make cozy everything smell good. good. Mm-hmm. And you yeah. can do a white or you could do a red. Really? I've mm-hmm. never heard of white, Ooh, white, white mold. Mm-hmm. Mold. Yeah. Not mold. Mold. Mm-hmm. Mold. Mm-hmm. Um, empty your dishwasher before. Oh. Fully empty the sink and the dishwasher. Nothing in them. Nothing. Because you're going to want to throw everything in mm-hmm. really quick. Okay. We actually broke our dishwasher one year. From, from just going to Thanksgiving. <laughs> it was, we did like two rounds right away and it did Too something. It got mad and like leaked. And no. we're like, ah! no. We had like overfilled it. Mm. So don't make that mistake. Okay. And don't forget to pick, don't forget to take pictures. Yeah. I feel like oh, in my yeah. I always forget to take pictures and I was like yeah. at this great party and I was like, I didn't take picture, one picture. Yeah. yeah. Also, I feel yeah. like I saw this TikTok of like, okay, don't pose for pictures. Just go around and take photos of people talking because that's really oh. what they want. And so I've started doing that in my life and it is so cute. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. People love candid photos yeah. of themselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks That's for all sweet. that advice, guy. Yeah. No. You got okay. this. Thanksgiving special. So is everybody flying out? Because Zach's parents don't live No, in LA. Zach's parents aren't joining us, but okay, Zach's okay. grandmother and her partner, Aww. then my family, Zach's sister. Okay. Um, and then my sister, maybe her girlfriend. Yeah. It's just going to be a it's mishmash. Be, and then oh. we have like a couple friends who don't have their family. They aren't flying back home to their family. So they're coming to stay with us Aww. or coming to get a hot plate from us. Cute. Yeah. A hot plate. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have another uh, advice question. I just want to start off by saying how glad I am that you guys started this podcast. Two years ago, I moved 700 plus miles away from home, all my f- friends, away from all my friends and family to live then with my fiance, now husband, while he finished school. I only knew him. I missed my family and my best friend, and it was always homesick. But then I found you can sit with us. You guys were the light during a difficult time, and I felt like I was surrounded by friends every time I listened. Two years later, we're moving back home, and my husband got a job as a flight instructor. I'm a little heartbroken. Whoa. Yeah. Flight instructor. I know. Pilot. I've made a few great friends, including the one who's become a sister to me, and the thought of leaving them has been a huge source of anxiety and a lot of tears. I have no intentions of drifting from them once we move, but I know life has a tendency to get in the way. Do you guys have any advice on how to keep up long distance friendships? I'll also be leaving a job I really like. From day one, everyone was incredibly welcoming and made me feel wanted. Any advice on job hunting when you're leaving the one you love? Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of like a two-parter. Yeah. So first long distance friendship. I have a follow up question. So she already moved. Mm -hmm. Now she has to move again. And now she's moving back. But how did you maintain the relationships from the first move? You know what I Mm -hmm. mean? So like she moved from her friends and family to point B from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. And now she's going from B to A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did she not have a good time maintaining the relationships from A to B? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Maybe it was just like childhood friends and family. That's so true. Like, not like adult friends. Yeah. Not new friends. Yeah. yeah. Also, sometimes if it's like everybody else is in one place, like I feel like it's easier to to maintain friends with people who are all spread out and have all moved. But if you like have your whole community physically there, mm-hmm. then it's harder to like be motivated to call. I don't mm-hmm. know. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Wait. Yeah. And she's married or she's engaged? I think she's married. married. Now. She's married. Mm-hmm. That's she sort of like, are you sure you want to move? <laughs> but I'm kidding. <laughs> Rainey's like, I'm hearing you don't want to move. <laughs> so I would say you have to find a whole new job. I know. But it does sound hard. I don't envy that aspect of like, you have to move. Oh, like, yeah. Your sister's married to someone in the military. So yeah. like their life is dictated by where his job takes him. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Like that to That's me sounds certain. stressful. Yeah. And like what a communi- the communication you have to have to be able to do that. Yeah. To be like, okay, well, I'm going to do it because that's where your job's taking you. Let's do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Up in your whole life. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Every couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all about effort, Mm -hmm. right? If you put effort into it, you can make it work Mm -hmm. with your friends and like going back and visiting them and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like setting, I mean, setting calls are sometimes hard because sometimes there's like a t- how big of a time difference there is mm-hmm. or if people have a lot going on. Like sometimes I had friends like going to graduate school and it was like, mm-hmm. okay, I don't really have time to like hop on like FaceTime and like talk mm-hmm. right now. And mm-hmm. it would be hard to line up. But then when you can, 
it's very nice. Right, mm-hmm. right. But then timing is also like friendships ebb and flow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, there's not going to be like, it's always going to be consistent with everyone's schedules. So as long as there's effort being shown on both sides, then, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Was there, when you guys first moved to LA, was there a time where you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know any, like, did you feel lonely at all? I don't know. I never felt like super, super lonely a little mm-hmm. bit because I had friends that already lived here. Oh yeah. You know what so I mean? So it made it a little, it softened yeah. the blow. Softened the blow yeah, a little bit. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm in a new city. Yeah. Ooh. I will say like video, like sending videos to each other and voice memos is a really easy way if you're having trouble with the time differences or like uh-huh. finding the time to sit down and do like an hour long FaceTime is like kind of stressful sometimes. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So sending like a video message or like there's yeah. apps like House Party does little video ones oh, that you my can gosh. use. House Party. Um, yes. House Party. That, that was, was an, that was all the rage a while yeah. ago. <laughs> what happened? I liked yeah. those. I have friends that are still on House Party. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there one? Was it called like Marco Polo? Marco Polo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember Marco Polo. Marco Polo. It's like all like you just record the video and then people can watch it like at their leisure. Yeah. And you're, oh. it's like a group. Yeah. And it so can be like as like big It's like Snapchat small. except it doesn't disappear. Yeah. It's Snapchat for old people. <laughs> 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 so it's Snapchat for old people. Snapchat, mm-hmm. can you do groups? No. Mm, oh, okay. I think you, you can. can. I, okay. I don't really I don't really do it. Mm. I've never done a group Snapchat, but I know that like I think Kaylin has like her college friends. She talks about her college friends and it's like oh, a little movie. Every she has to like catch up every night because it's like <gasps> yeah. long. Mm. That's um, my my problem with Marco Polo. I always got made fun of by my girlfriends in the group because they were like, Becky, you are not watching any of these. <laughs> Yeah. They were like, we know you're watching, but you're stopping halfway through. And I was like, it's just so many. Like yeah. At the end of the day, there'd be like 40. And I was like, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, summarize. And then I'd go summarize for me. And one person at the end would be like, da 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 tell me what happened. Oh, my God. But yeah. I think Matt's right. It's all about effort. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you'll stay close with the people you want to stay close to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And there can be like, so it, it takes a little bit of time. You can settle first and then. Mm-hmm. And then get into it. Yeah. Do you guys, who are your, like, do you have a lot of long distance friends? Yeah, I have a lot of friends that live out of state now mm-hmm. or like in Northern California. Um, so it's easier to stay in contact that way because everyone kind mm. of moved away yeah. from where we grew up. That's the thing. I think that does make it easier. Yeah. Versus yeah. like one person moving away and then everyone else still staying close and mm-hmm. then hanging out without you. So it's like yeah. the playing fields are like, the effort is kind of going in all directions mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. So it's you're, easier. Because Samra is long distance. Northern California. Yeah. Yeah. So are you, how do you keep in touch with her? Probably phone call yeah. mostly. Yeah. yeah. Audio messages is like a big one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are your tips for visiting a friend? Do you have any etiquette? Well, now it's a lot harder than we were, when we were in college because we're high school friends. Mm-hmm. You always have to make sure that we're, it's like, it takes a lot more effort because you have to coordinate PTO. You can't just like go at a drop of it. I mean, you can go over a weekend, Mm -hmm. um, but for some reason, Burbank to Oakland or Burbank to San Francisco flights are like stupidly expensive. So like the last couple of times, each of us have both driven, Mm -hmm. which is like six hours. So it's like kind of a time commitment. But if you leave, if you time traffic, perfectly which is like usually we try and do like a thursday or friday Mm -hmm. at like 11 and we'll get there by like five or six which is like pretty easy yeah you don't really hit traffic and also yeah i mean i feel like just driving is so much easier than like getting on a plane or Mm -hmm. like a train Mm -hmm. that gives me anxiety Mm -hmm. i wish there was a good one between san francisco and la but well actually a train wouldn't give me anxiety Mm. but the getting to the airport i can't yeah i can't i don't want to do that (laughs) Especially LAX, it's like it's whole. It's a whole other beast. Whereas, like, Bur- yeah. if you can fly to Burbank, so yeah. nice. Yeah. How do you guys nice. feel about like alone time when somebody is visiting or when you're visiting? Alone time, like, because in- I feel like I'm like a super introverted, so I'm like, oh my gosh, the prospect of like hanging out with somebody from sun up to sundown oh. gives me anxiety. But I also feel like it's like not really in etiquette to like be like, okay, can I just like be on my phone for half an hour? <laughs> That's like a realistic friendship. But like, I feel like as an adult, like you kind of decide what your friendship is. I will yeah. tell you that Samra just stayed with me like last weekend yeah. and we were not up each other's ass like 
for 72 hours straight there right. were like periods where like okay i have to go run an errand i'll be yeah. right back and she'll be like okay i'm gonna walk your dog I'm like perfect <laughs> yeah so yeah. it's like great how was the visit it was so nice Aww. it was like over my birthday weekend which Aww. was like not planned but it worked out and it was really nice that's so cute what did you guys do we went to a concert on friday she was really excited to see burn a boy um so we went and saw <laughs> at the Burn-a-boy? bmos yeah <laughs> He, um, what are his hits? What would we know? I'm trying to think he's featured in a lot of songs, but mm. uh, I think he's Nigerian. So Ooh. it's like a lot of Afro beats. Yeah. Mm. It was fun. That's yeah. Cool. Um, and then on Saturday we just like celebrated, we went on a hike in the morning and we celebrated my birthday and it was really <gasps> nice. Yeah. That's such a cute, that is such a cute birthday hike. Mm-hmm. Hike celebrate. It was a dinner or was it like a party? Yeah. It was, we had dinner with like a smaller group and then mm. we went to the bar. With and met with more friends. Oh, yeah. The board. The board. Turn it up. It was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, you don't, yeah. I feel like you don't, if you feel like pressured to hang out with your friend for yeah. however long. Yeah. Then. And it's not like I'm like, I like obviously love my friends. It's just I'm like, sometimes I'm like, can I take a break? I need to be like horizontal for like two yeah, seconds. For just I feel like they minute. feel that way too. Right. That's mm-hmm. true. Of like, okay, let's just, or maybe like watch a show or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like she's got this. She's already she's moved it. once and now she's going back to a place that she knows. Yeah. yeah. Most of my friends, I feel like in LA, it's like I'm trying to work on like getting friends here because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. most of my friends right now, I like talk to people like multiple times a week, but it's kind of like, I'm like, oh, I should probably be building community. It takes time. I it think you do build community. You, from what I've seen on your Instagram, you do build community because one oh. of the places you meet friends is work. That's true. I know. I do spend a lot of time with yeah. my work friends. That's true. I do have work friends. Yeah, because eventually friends. work friends become real life friends, real friends outside of work. Yeah, and then eventually they do. People move <laughs> on from work. <laughs> yeah, you know, and then you're just straight friends, and then you're just friends. Yeah, although or gay I, friends. One of my best friends, Lauren, we met at this um, rooftop job, uh, and oh, yeah. I have her saved on my phone as Lauren Rooftop still. And yep. it's been like eight years. Yeah, Roof, <laughs> wow. rooftop Lauren. She's Lauren Rooftop. <laughs> I mean, because I used to travel for work all the time, so like mm-hmm. you're not home. So the people that you were traveling with become pretty close to you. Like you know a lot oh, about yeah. their lives because you would go get dinner and like yeah. drinks after work mm-hmm. or do like workouts or go see sites and stuff. Like I remember we would be like in Seattle and we decided to stay one weekend and go skiing and stuff. So oh. you know, things like that, you make good friends at work. And then mm-hmm. when you leave, because I don't work there anymore, I have like a handful of people that I still oh, reach out yeah. to in contact yeah. with. Going to one of their weddings this uh, spring. Oh. You know? yeah. was How was the skiing in Seattle? Um... Was like outside of Seattle. I can't remember. Oh, I like, Not like in. Yeah. In my, I thought the sentence was ending there. And as someone who's never been skiing, I was like, is it not all outside? Oh. No, outside of is Seattle. Is indoor ski? Not, <laughs> like local slopes, you know, not like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mount so it was fun. Washington? Yeah, that's right. I don't even remember. What it, is? it was so long. Isn't that the mountain? No. Yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, I don't know if, I, I don't know anything about, I don't know. I don't know about anything. <laughs> I don't know. Skiing. You're. From Colorado, you should know everything about, about every everything mountain ever. About every single mountain. <laughs> about every little every outdoor like, sport, every mountain. Every skiing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> everything you said. Okay. That's so funny. John Johnson. John Johnson. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Should we go to the next question? Yes. I am 18 going on 29 at the end of the year. I want to be a mom. <laughs> what? 18 Wait, going on 29? 18. I go like <laughs> thinking, I am 18 going on 19. Stronger and wiser am I. <laughs> I am 18 going on 29. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same girl. I felt that. I felt that in my bones. <laughs> I am 28 going to be 29 at the end of the year. I struggled before with depression and anxiety. I want to be a mom. But I do not know when, and I still want to travel. But also, yes, I need to focus on my mental health too right now. I am thinking within the next six years. I was just curious if you are willing to share with me when did you and Keith decide now was the time? I'm assuming for babies, not for mental babies, health. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize in advance if you do not want to share and offend by even asking. <laughs> offend. <laughs> I love what you Angel. say in the podcast that touch on mental health. And boundaries, which I'm <gasps> learning to respect while also setting some myself. Mm. And then she leaves a nice note for Rachel. I think you had mentioned oh. it in a podcast before as well. But please share, too, if you're willing to sit with Maggie and Matthew. And if that is something you and Eugene may do. Of course, if you are both willing to share. 
um, is there such a thing as the right time? Have you uh? ever discussed like a period of time? <gasps> what advice do you have for, th- for this couple? Um, I mean, I, I think it's like so personal. You're going to decide when's the right time for you. But personally, the way we did it right. was we had talked about before we got married that we wanted kids. And then as we got older and more financially stable, we were like, when do we want to do this? And travel was a big thing for us. We are like, we had never left the country before. So we were like, we want to go out. Vietnam. We want to travel. We want to go to Vietnam. We want to go to Greece. We want to go to Greece. We want to go to Singapore. We want to go to Australia. We want to go to all these places. Um, so we did that and we felt like we had done it. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know, for us it was like having the space, having the time and having the financial stability to do it mm. because it is so expensive to have a kid in the United States and you never know what's going to go on. Mm. Like when we first got pregnant, I had to take progesterone and that was not covered by insurance and mm-hmm. it was $150 each month that I was taking it. Wow. And How so it that's okay. just sort of. If you couldn't pay for it, you just didn't have it. And then if you didn't take the progesterone, you, your placenta wouldn't get stronger. So it was like not really a choice right? in that way. Right. That's wild. I did not then, know that was not yeah, covered. Not That's covered. clearly medical. Yeah. Not covered by insurance. Wow. Yeah. I feel like to have a kid, you have to be right in the right mental space. Yeah. To have a kid, right? Like you kind of have to have your own life together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To really be able to attack all the needs that a kid has. Yeah. Yeah. Although since she said she knows she wants to have one within like six years, Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a good time to have the conversations to get on the same page of like, are you religious? If you're not religious, how are you going to talk to your kid about religion? Mm -hmm. How are you going to, you know, how many kids are we going to have? How many kids are you going to, do you want to have, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Having those like early, Mm -hmm. how are we going to parent? And you had the the original conversation before you got married. You were like, yeah, we had it before we got married. How are you going to parent? Not how we're going to parent, but just that we wanted kids. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I really think if one of, you wants kids and yeah. the other one doesn't want kids. Like for me personally, that is like a hard, I don't know how you'd get over that. Right. Mm-hmm. I feel like one person would be sacrificing so much that yeah. like if you don't both want that, yeah. then you should really yeah. maybe find someone who wants, wants that. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that's giving up a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we talked about it before we got married. And then, mm-hmm. yeah, it just came up in the last. Is there ever a right time? No. I know. Did you <laughs> ever feel like, oh. No. Oh, it, it may I will feel more ready in this amount of time or like mm. maybe if I go to like X more countries then I'll feel more at peace mm-hmm. yeah there were times where I was like I want to tra- travel was a big one for us that we were like mm-hmm. I don't I really don't want to travel yeah yeah like you can travel with a baby people do it mm-hmm. personally yeah. that was not something I wanted to do I'm I was like so I do not want to go <laughs> feels like a lot of crying it seems like a lot of crying a hundred percent um so that was personally something we were like Ugh, we're not gonna do yeah. so we wanted to go on lots of trips before mm-hmm. having a baby mm-hmm. um also like professional stuff like Keith doing his Broadway show uh-huh. Burger right. touring that's like, true yeah big shoots for try guys like all of that had mm-hmm. to be Sort of in a place where it was like you kind of have to make the choice of your priorities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not that anything has to get nixed out, but yeah, it children are a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you why no one know. tells you before you have them. No. <laughs> yeah. What about but, she's talking mm, about her mental health struggles? I think you should be really sure with your doctors. Mm-hmm. Like, be very comfortable with the doctors yeah. that you have, both your your OB and your like psychiatrist if you're Mm -hmm. taking medication or your therapist if you're not, Mm -hmm. you know, just being on the same page with all of them. So they could kind of like help you Mm -hmm. know what to expect, Mm -hmm. things like that, like breastfeeding or formula Mm -hmm. feeding or exclusive pumping or like there are all these things that like Mm -hmm. you should kind of be sort of aligned on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You got to have some sort of general idea, but I don't think you're ever going to sit down and go like, oh, I'm totally ready for this right now. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you've gotten asked this before, but like, do you mm-hmm. feel like you're a different person now that you have a kid or do you feel like pretty much the same Becky, but plus a whole new thing? Oh, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I think a different person in terms of like things that I've learned mm-hmm. and like the experiences that I've gone through now, Yeah, but I still feel like my own person plus like my yeah. slug. 
My slug. slug. My little baby slug that comes with me everywhere. Becky plus yeah. diapers. Becky plus, yeah, it's plus diapers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Becky and entourage. Yeah. 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 I feel like yeah. that's, yeah. You're never, I mean, at least we weren't. We were never like, oh, this is, yeah. This is the perfect time. This There's is, always going to be something. You know what I mean? Uh huh. I mean, we got mm-hmm. pregnant at the end of 2022. So, yeah, there's always something that will come up that is big in the world, big in your life. Yeah, there's always going to be something. Truth or truth? Yeah, so, <laughs> you just kind of got to be ready to do those some things plus a kid. Yep, right. Yeah. Plus a kid. But I think whatever stressors you can eliminate for yourself before is was helpful for us. Mm-hmm. Set yourself up for success. Set yourself up for success. Yeah. yeah, like we wanted to be in a very good financial place to make sure that we could. Yeah, take care of a baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that made me feel more secure. Mm-hmm. in that decision mm-hmm. yeah bitcoin back you over here bitcoin, and i buy my nft <laughs> buy my any NFT. <laughs> yeah. so that would be my advice quote unquote yeah that's good yeah. advice though i mean for me eugene and i i mean after being around so many kids eugene's like we're never having a kid <laughs> Um, you're taking, I thought you were taking Hen- Henny. <laughs> yeah. I thought once he turns two, he's going to go live with once he turns Unky two. Matt and Uncle Gigi. <laughs> Get the three major attitude. Yeah. Mm, you're so funny. You go <laughs> Uncle Gigi? That's so cute. <laughs> I call him anything. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I will now. <laughs> maybe you will Uncle, now. Uncle Gigi. <laughs> That's what I called him when we first started dating, Gigi. Yeah. Aww. I always see it in your phone, Gigi. That's what I have it on my phone. That's <gasps> what we call my great grandma. G. It's just a letter G G. You know, G-G. double G. That's so cute. Mm-hmm. So cute. I love it. Yeah. So you you guys are like. It's, it's not much. not a possibility, but yeah. it's not a possibility at the front of our minds. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Like especially Ooh. for gay people, it's a lot harder. Mm-hmm. You have to really want it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you and Eugene had conversations. How long into your relationship do you think you went before you started talking about like, oh, is a kid something you would want? Is a kid something you would want? Mm. I think it's like before we moved in together, yeah, we like talked about it and we were both on the same page. Mm-hmm. Like okay. maybe someday, but not right now. Yeah. And that's kind of how we still feel. Mm. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> maybe someday, but not right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It when, can also be never. Yeah. When you were younger, maybe. did you like envision your life with a kid? Or not really. Or didn't think about it. Not really. I don't think I was thinking that far. (laughs) (laughs) That was all part of my five year plan back then. (laughs) Or even your ten year. (laughs) How about you, Maggie? How about you? Um, I love kids. Um Zach loves kids. I feel like we talked about it very early on, but timing wise, I don't know. We haven't decided yet. Okay, sarah, yeah. sarah. Okay, sarah, sarah. Yeah, we don't know yet. Wow. Yeah. So the right time for there's Maggie a right time anytime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are there any things you want to check off your like anything in your head that you're like, oh, I w- if I could Book write a list. list of like like ours was travel. I was like, I want to be able to travel, travel before I have a kid. I mean, we feel like after the wedding, and we just did a little travel recently. I feel like travel's not the only I, like travel is a big one, but I wouldn't mm-hmm. say it's like a huge one for us. Mm-hmm. You want to shoot your music videos, exactly. <laughs> you know, for, your, for your new vocal career, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Got to do my whole photo shoot. <laughs> I think you decide for yourself when you're ready for kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also if you're never ready for kids, you don't have to be. Yeah, but I feel like there's a lot of unpacking from like childhood too, especially mm-hmm. like oh, yeah. as women, like when you're oh, yeah. younger, like. That idea of like, even your question to Matt of like, did mm-hmm. you think about having kids when you were younger? Right. I feel like for boys, that wasn't a thing. Yeah. But like, yeah, I obviously when I was like in high school, thought yeah. about you like, well, oh. You probably had like baby dolls instead mm-hmm. yeah. of even like growing up. I didn't really have baby dolls. Yeah. Like teddy bears. Yeah. yeah. That's true. So I'm like, I wonder how much of like our idea of uh-huh. having you- kids comes from like learned behavior from other people of like, yeah. this is what you do when you turn X, Y, Z, A. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Where I feel like our generation now and the younger generation too is either one, not having kids mm-hmm. like YOLO or mm-hmm. they're not waiting until they're married or right. marriage is like not even on the, the mm-hmm. table. They're mm-hmm. like, you can have a kid whenever you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you can have Separate. a kid never. Mm-hmm. Like it's not as, mm-hmm. I feel like our generation was very like, very Put set into in our stone. heads, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like this is the steps. Yes, you yeah. go to college, you get a yeah. husband, you have a baby, right? Mm-hmm. Pew, 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 pew. 
Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. yeah. Seven babies. So I'm sure, you know, someone who studies work could answer that question yeah. for us. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do our little last advice for this gal. Oh, what yeah. last advice do you have? I mean, for me, get your own house in order before you invite anyone else in. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, right? Whatever that means good, to yeah. you. Mm-hmm. I love that. There's never going to yeah. be a right time. I think there's never going to be a right time. Probably a better time. Yeah. But not a right time. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also feel like when you know, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you feel like you were, you, well, no, I guess we already talked. Like when you know, you know, did you feel like you you were like, yep, okay, feel good? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think once we started trying, I was like, yeah. Because yeah. at first you're just kind of like, oh my God, are we going to have a baby? Because you say like people are like, oh, we're going to start trying. Some people get pregnant like yeah. immediately. In a day. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. I feel like I would have like had a panic attack. And I was like, oh my God, it's been one month. You haven't yeah. even processed. Um, but then once you hit like one year, you're like, okay. okay. <laughs> TikTok. Like, all right, TikTok. we are trying. Yeah. What's happening in here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no one's going to tap you on the shoulder and say, now go. It's the time. Do it. Check, you check this box. Don't let the external pressure get to you. Yeah, yes. that's true. Let it yeah. be like Matt said, your own house. So it's your decision mm-hmm. in your mind, mm-hmm. with your partner or your, you know, yourself. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this episode <laughs> of You Can Sit With Us. Until next time, please wash your hands. Get boosted. Get vaxxed. Be nice to others. Be nice to yourself. Get your own house in order. Get your own <laughs> house in order. Pee after sex. And remember to register to vote and vote. Wee. Wee. Woo. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.